Thanks for listening. This is Brian Hurley from Business Performance Improvement. The podcast, Lean Six Sigma Bursts, are short lessons, comments, Q&A, and insights. If you have a question, send your question through the Anchor app, and we might feature you on a future episode. Or contact me at biz-pi.com. In this episode, I share an excerpt from a book I put out recently called Lean Six Sigma for Good, Lessons from the Gemba. And this is from Volume 2. You'll be hearing from Elizabeth Swan. You'll hear about five minutes of her chapter. If you like this book, go to the show notes and check out the entire book, which is eight chapters of different volunteers and process improvement experts working with nonprofits to teach them how Lean and Six Sigma methods can help run their organization better. It also is applicable for government agencies and other not-for-profit organizations. Thanks for listening. Elizabeth Swan, Leaning Into the Mission of Child Care. A nonprofit daycare center is about as far from manufacturing as you might imagine. Although many associate Lean Six Sigma with making widgets, Cape Cod Child Development ended up using classic process improvement techniques to expand their operations. They also learned, like many manufacturing plants before them, that lasting success depends upon the human element. The team hit intangible speed bumps while they sussed out what worked and how to learn from what didn't work. Having traveled the world for over 30 years as a Lean Six Sigma consultant, it was incredibly gratifying that one of my most satisfying experiences happened in my backyard. I got a call from a CEO of a local nonprofit near my home on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Her work in the private sector exposed her to the benefits of becoming Greenbelt certified in continuous improvement. She wanted that for her new leadership team, so we set out to make it happen. The stories here are real as are the charts and the data. The choice to illustrate the graphs and forms is intended to make them more readable and relatable. Some illustrations simply capture the spirit of the team's journey. This group did amazing and admirable work. Cape Cod Child Care Development ran Head Start programs, counseling for teen mothers, daycare centers, aid for the homeless, and many other efforts revolving around caring for children in need. The CEO applied for and received a grant to cover the cost of the training and coaching the group. The next step was to get a return on their investment. The project focus areas ran the gamut. One effort involved increasing the number of people who properly self-identified as homeless to get them the help they needed. Another focused on decreasing dangerous incidents in the daycare centers. Another sought to increase the amount of time-based in-kind donations from parents and community members. What turns out to have the biggest impact was an effort to reduce expenses. This effort also ran up against the most resistance. Cutting expenses is what most people associate with efforts like lean. They often interpret capital L-E-A-N, lean, as referring to cutting people. Less employees are needed as opposed to removing wasteful activities to better serve customers. Business author Tom Peters said, you can't shrink yourself to greatness. Yet shrinking expenses turned out to be something great for these guys. The first step was to identify the process to address. Expenses by themselves are what we call a bucket since it's generally the result of multiple processes. The project lead who was the office manager wanted to focus primarily on the process of buying supplies. She witnessed daily the freewheeling system involved in keeping the many facilities stocked and operational. Process walk discoveries. The office manager took on the expense reduction project because it drove her crazy to see waste. As part of her define phase, she conducted a tour, what we call a process or gemba walk, of the properties. She found daycare centers with unused dishware, and idle dishwashers, and teachers ordering paper plates, plastic utensils, and cups instead. Mapping out the process led her to describe the supply ordering system as buy as you wish. Instructors had access to company credit cards, so they ordered what they needed when they needed it. And she knew they had the welfare of the children in mind, and her research turned up nothing out of the ordinary. Nobody was ordering diamond Barbie dollhouses or Louis Vuitton teddy bears. You know, the the supplies made sense. It's the process that lacked coherence. Each person used their vendor of choice. They all ordered their own cleaning supplies, paper crayons, books, construction blocks, or whatever they needed. They used local stores, made trips to Walmart, 
ordered online. They picked up the items themselves, used GPS or the post office. She was the tail of the dog, sending packing slips and receipts to the finance department so they could determine what to pay the credit card companies. As she moved into the measure phase, she established her baseline. The expenses averaged around $2,500 a month. Figure one shows the time chart of the cost of supplies, which is the baseline, from January to December of 2017. During the analyze phase, she'd learned a few things about ordering supplies for the organization's headquarters. She discovered there were vendors who offered discounts for bulk orders. She spoke to new contacts and discovered they had thresholds that allowed them to elevate clients into something called preferred customer status. Let me pause for a moment to tell you about our sponsor, Creative Safety Supply. Creative Safety Supply is a great resource for free guides, infographics, and continuous improvement tools. I recommend starting with their 5S guide. It includes breakdowns of the five pillars, ways to begin implementing 5S, and even organization tips and color charts. From red tags to floor markings, it's all there. Download it for free at creativesafetysupply.com slash 5S. LeanSixSigmaDefinition.com has a list of glossary items about popular process improvement terms, along with a history of Lean and Six Sigma methods, and key influencers like Dr. Edward Stemming, Henry Ford, Taichi Ono, Shigeo Shingo, and many more. You can also learn how to access affordable Lean and Six Sigma training and certification. Visit LeanSixSigmaDefinition.com.